What's good fam, it's your boy Jails, and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about how I go about mixing a tracked out beat, not an MP3, a tracked out beat. Hey, let's get into it, let's go. Okay, like I said, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I mix a tracked out beat when I'm mixing a complete song. We're just, like I said, we're just going to focus on the beat today. Um, hey, not much else to be said. Let's dive into Studio One and make this happen. Let's go! Okay, the first thing we're going to do is listen to the beat. Let's listen to what we got so far. Doesn't sound too bad, definitely a little too hot, so we'll um, turn that down a little. But the first thing I like to do is break my beat up into sections. Um, pretty much we have all the drums here, we have the bass, have all the strings. So I like to move those into buses just to make it easier. So we'll create three buses. This first bus will be the drums, I'm sorry. Second bus will be the bass. Third bus will be the strings. So now let's go change all these. To go to the drums, it's to go to the bass, and it's to go to the strings. And that'll just make it a little easier to control the volume, etc. So let's go ahead and bring the volume down on all these at the same time, just to kind of give us a starting point. That's a lot better. A lot easier to work with. I also like the color code. So this is all my drums. I'll leave my bass blue. I'll make my strings. Let's go with this yellow. So I first like to start with my kick drum. So I'm actually gonna bring everything completely down. And I'm just gonna build it build the sound around my kick drum. This section here pretty much has everything I need. This is a ghost kick. I like to bring all my kicks usually go down the middle. My snares I pan, my hats I pan. Only thing I really bring straight down the middle is my kick, my bass or 808, and my lead vocals. Turn this up just a little bit more. Okay, the next is a snare. Let's go ahead and pan that to the left. Like that dynamic right there. Let's do the hats. 
bring those to the other side. It's the most important part, in my opinion, when you're creating a beat. So get all the sounds in the right place, give it all space. You can definitely achieve that with panning. Panning will take it to the next level. It's coming down the middle too. Let's solo this. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that coming down the middle. Crash is just a little too loud. There we go. Now we're gonna start to bring in the bass. We're gonna bring that straight down the middle as well. I love bass, but you don't want the bass to overpower everything else. I kind of like it right there where we got it. Fits in there perfect. Let's go into some strings. Let's pan these. Go back a little bit, make sure we got the transition right. Yeah, I like that. Let's go into the violin. That violin is just like a like a bonus effect, a bonus sound. So you don't want it to overpower, but you still want it to be heard. So I, I like where I got it right now. Let's take a listen to that. I like where we got the beat right now. It sounds pretty good. Only thing pretty much left to do is a little EQ, compression. That's pretty much it, man. I'm not going to add any effects or anything like that on here because I do that completely, totally in the mix. So I'm going to show... 
this is going to be an actual easier way to do this when you're when you're mixing a two track beat. Um, I'm not going to touch all the individual sounds. I'm just going to mix it straightly straight from my buses. I don't always do it like this, but certain beats and certain producers, you don't need to touch every sound, especially if it's not a live sound. If it's computer generated, majority of those are already kind of perfect so we're, we're, we're just gonna mix this directly from my buses right here and let's get into it let's start with the drums of course first let's start with a simple eq So let's find a spot where it's just the drums. And since we put everything in a bus, we'll just solo this bus and it'll solo the drums. Take a little low end out. A little high end out. mid-range see that it don't take much when you're EQing the whole thing I'm hearing a little something here see let's pull that down just a tad and a little something back here as well Little boxy right there. Let's take some of that out. That's pretty much it right there, man. And I just add a touch of compression on there. There's a bunch of different compressors I could use, but I'm just gonna basically use the Presonus compressor. I like to compress too much. It's a nice, like 2.5 or so, 2.5 to 3. That's actually good right there. Let's add in this bass. Just a little bit. There we go. Let's go back to that EQ. There's really no high end on this. A live bass, you want to keep a little bit of that high end. It just adds, adds to it. This computerized, so it's really nothing. So we can bring that all the way down. Same thing here. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do as far as the EQ on that. It's computerized, so it sounds, sounds good already. Kiss of uh, compression. Just to contain it. Let's add these strings in. And these are computerized strings, so I'm not even gonna bother to to hit it with an EQ. It's not gonna be necessary. But I am gonna compress it. Kiss of compression. 
that's pretty much it, man. Let's hear how this sounds. Yeah, I think we got a, a good dynamic here in the in the uh, in the tracked out B. I, I like the way that sounds. Now I would move on to my vocals, starting with my lead vocal. I would go ahead and start mixing that and, and blending it with the beat. But that's pretty much all for this video. Hey, let's get out of this computer, man. As you saw, I didn't really make any major moves. It's just all about being smart and strategic. Little small moves here and there will take a beat from here to here. It doesn't take a lot. It's not rocket science. Whatever sounds good to you, just do it. Don't worry about any rules you could break. There are no rules when mixing. As long as it sounds good to you, that's all that matters. Nothing else matters as long as it sounds good to you. But when you first track out the beat, the most important part is gain stage and just making everything is in the right place. A little pan here, a little pan there, level up and down. And then from there, you're you're basically golden, man. And if you that's all I got for this video. Like I said, this was mixing a beat track out. If you have any more questions, be sure to hit the email in my description below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. It's your boy Jails. I'm gone.